This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion 5.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short video tutorial, I'll demonstrate the difference between a framing and a viewpoint camera in motion. Let's add a camera. That looks kind of nice, actually. Let's add a camera. How do we add a camera? We go up to the object menu, go down to new camera. It says you can't do it unless you switch to 3D. Exact same warning message we get when we try to add a light. Switch to 3D and absolutely nothing changes. <laughs> because in point of fact, even in 2D, we're looking through a camera, the way that motion thinks of it, when we look at the viewer. We're always seeing the camera view. It's just that until we explicitly add a camera, we don't realize that that's what's going on. When we add a camera, it's really helpful to get a sense of where we are, because now we're dealing in space and how objects relate to each other. Go to this menu up here and switch to the top view. This is like looking at a floor plan. And there is our text. There is the camera. But there are the controls for the camera. There are two types of cameras inside motion. There's a framing camera, which is the default, and a viewpoint camera. Let's show you what this means. A framing camera rotates around the focal point of where the camera is looking at. And look at how that camera is moving. A viewpoint camera rotates or moves around the camera. This is the way a tripod camera works. All of our instincts are to think of a camera as though it was placed on a tripod, which when we're shooting real life makes a great deal of sense. But when we're working with animation, it will drive you nuts. Framing cameras require you to totally change your thinking about how a camera works. It took me almost a year of dabbling in motion before I finally became comfortable with what a framing camera is. So it takes a struggle to forget what we know about cameras and learn something new. But once you understand how a framing camera works, it's so much easier to deal with because the framing camera focuses on what the camera is shooting while a viewpoint camera focuses on the camera itself. Now, you've already seen that I can change the position of a camera. We'll go back to framing. I can change the position of a camera by simply grabbing the camera and dragging it, which is useful. I can rotate the camera by using the rotation commands. We see how that works up here. Or by dragging position back and forth. Now, remember, we're dealing with three dimensions here. X moves us horizontally, Y moves us vertically up and down, and Z, which was available as I twirl down position, Z moves us closer or farther from the screen. Depth. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar demonstrating cameras, sets, and drop zones in Apple Motion. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 307. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.